Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Rush Family Range. I am Wade Rush. I'm the host of the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel, and you have landed on another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. Well, I've heard from a lot of you folks that said while we had the 16 gauge, they couldn't believe that I did not try any 31 cal single alt in there and would like for me to try that. And about an equal number of folks also asked while I had it, they wanted to know how the number four buck would, uh, would work out of that and what kind of loads we could come up with. So here we are. We're going to check that out. Hope you all enjoy the video. So stay tuned. Well, folks, um, here in the last couple of weeks, I've heard from a bunch of you after this 16-gauge series wrapped up. They said, Wade, here you are, Dr. Singalot, and you're not going to shoot any 31 cal out of that 16-gauge. Uh, or, and I've heard from others that said, Wade, we'd like to see what number four buck, how it performs out of the 16-gauge. So I've heard you. We've come back down here right before we get all this, uh, get this stuff back to Matt to get ready for deer season. And so what we have here, I've got a... Y'all pardon the deer dogs in the background. They must sense that the season opens here in just a few days. So anyway, we've got a uh, once fired federal hull right here. Should I primer installed? We've got 23 grains of long shot and obturator 16 gas seal, a one half inch 16 gauge fiber wad, and we've got 12 pellets of 31 cal, uh, hard cast, polished, stacked in here by threes. Conventionally stacked in here by threes. We also have an, uh, a, I put a 20 gauge overshot card over this thing here so that we have a nice crimp. Shot number two is a brand new primed shotite, 22 grains of long shot, a 16 gauge striker wad, 1680, 16 gauge striker. We have an undershot card, which is a 28 gauge uh, wad that I've cut back to an eighth of an inch thick to go in the bottom of this striker wad and we have 12 pellets of 31 cal stacked in here by twos covered in original buffer. I think that the first shot, yeah we got number seven in the first shot we've got number 47 buffer in the first shot I think I may have failed to mention. Okay folks, first shot is the conventionally stacked 12 pellet 31 cal. <laughs> and the hole definitely can be loaded again. Well, folks, as John Wayne would say, what a beautiful pattern. Wow. Now, you remember, that's a nice uniform pattern, 45 yards out of a uh, fixed choke in that old 16-gauge uh, A5 Browning 624, I believe is what the... Uh, <laughs> but these are all 31 caliber. 31 caliber pellets, which means one will do it. And here we got one, two, three. <laughs> That's two pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of twelve here. And a nice uniform pattern all the way across the page at 45 yards. Yep, you could put that one in your belt too. Uh, let's go see how that striker wad throws these same size pellets. Alrighty folks, let's see how those, how the 12 pellets of 31 cal fly out of this Striker 1680. Boy, it did well with the number ones 
and all that, especially the 29 caliber, bam. All right, here we go. Thirteen thirty-five. Where'd that hole go? Lord mercy, it kicked it way out of here. Right here. All right. Oh yeah. It looks good. Can definitely be loaded again. Oh mercy, yeah. It tightened them up. Well, you would expect a full-length wad to kind of tighten them up a little bit. But wow, what is so impressive is we've got one, two, three, four, five, 31 cal single alt dead center of the page right there where the bead is. I just covered the bowl with the bead. Nice centered pattern. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, all 12 are here. And the impressive part, well, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, Six right there that are about seven inches to eight inches apart. Dead center of the page. Let's go check and see how it does with the number four. We see it really likes the 31 cal too. Well, here's that striker wad, folks. It performed perfect. What I call a three-quarter cut, cut with Gary's tools. Performed flawlessly out of this little brownie. Alrighty folks, our last two 16 gauge shots here, number four buck, shot number one is a beautiful roll crimp, it's a brand new primed shittite hull from Ballistic Products, we got 22 grains of long shot under an obturator 16 gas seal, a BP-12 wad, and we've got 24 pellets of number four Hornady buckshot in here all covered in Ballistic Products original buffer, shot number two. We've got 25 grains of blue dot under a striker wide with a 28 gauge undershot, card core, uh, eighth inch. And we've once again got 24 pellets of number four Hornady buckshot covered in number 47 buffer with a conventional crimp for shot number four. Twenty-four pellets of the number four buck Hornady, number four buck, out of the uh, BP twelve. Thirteen fifteen. All of them are hovering around thirteen hundred or just over so far. Oh, son, i tell you what. Well, deer are varmint. I'll tell you what, you coyote hunters out there, if you got a 16 gauge, that'd be the bee's knees right there now. Of course, that'd work on the deer or the hogs as well. Okay. Wow. There was 24 pellets in there to start with. Now, let me see if I can count these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's one above the pin uh, to your, yeah. Okay. And there's one way over here, 22. There's somewhere between 22 and 24 pellets in here, guys. But wow. That, uh, that is a beautiful uniform pattern, side to side, up and down. If he was in there, he ain't happy. All right, let's go shoot the last one. We got some blue dot powder in the uh, in the next one or the in the last one, and uh, we'll see if it might even tighten it up just a little bit. Y'all, hang on. Oh, that was a beautiful butterfly. All righty, folks. Final shot has 25 of blue dot under a striker, 1680. 24 pellets of number four, Hornady. Buckshot. This one's covered number 47. Conventional cramp. 13. Glare is starting to get on it again. There we go. 
1223, kind of what you expect. It slows the blue dot. The velocity has come down just a little bit when you're using the blue dot. But usually the patterns tighten up too. 1223, all right. See, hopefully my shout ain't too bad. Y'all should still be able to see. Well, a great uniform pattern. Looks like it tightened it up just a little bit. That's still great date. That's still an awesome pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, all twenty-four. So, wow. That's awesome. That little 16 gauge will shoot just about anything you put in it. That's just the quality that goes in that Browning put into those old shotguns. Alrighty folks, we will see y'all on the next one. Well folks, I think y'all want to come to the same conclusion that Rachel and myself did that uh, this little A5 will just about pattern anything that we put in it. It does, just doesn't matter. So anyway, we know that it will also pattern the 31 cal single alt and the number four buck like a dream. So it really don't matter what you put in it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video series, folks. We're gonna get this shotgun back to Matt and, uh, and hopefully he can roll some up during the dog drives here this coming fall. So y'all stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the LBC 50 wads and see how they perform out of the Stoger M3000. So y'all stay tuned for that. This is Wade and Rachel and we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. Wait, bye Rachel, honey.